Hi there. I'm Nutrix, and today we're looking into a bundle of one, two, three, four, five, five different contact instrument. What I mean by that, these are synthesizers, sample based synthesizers, soft synth that run inside native instrument software called Contact. Contact is free if you just want to have the free version. Of course, they can you can buy the full version. But Contact is an, I would say, engine to playback instruments inside it. So this bundle of soft synth only works inside Contact. Um, and Contact, well, is a VST or your unit plugin you can run in most of all. So that's the box in which we're going to work today. I have been contacted by this company, Clay and Kelsey, which I say company, but for what I understand, it's a two person operation, you know, so it's not a huge company and it's mostly artists and musician, the two of them and singers. And it feels like this is a work of passion. They do it because they love it very quickly. In a nutshell, this is a bundle of five different sample based instrument. And for each of the different ones, the Pro OSC, the Moo OSC, the Chip OSC, the Digi OSC, and the JX OSC, they're all around a certain instrument or a certain family of instruments that they sample with love and care. That's what I feel when I listen to it. That's what I feel when I play it. The interface is fun. It's different. And it's everything is very clearly labeled. So you'll see, I'll show you how easy it is to navigate through that. There's two other aspects of these scent that make them stand out. There's all the choices of reverb and effects. And this makes it go more into the realm of ambience and uh, soft and clean and lush sounds and and almost cinematic sounds at one point. And what is really different is the way the step sequencer work. And it's really not like I expected. And it's almost like a wave sequencer in a way. You'll see, it's, it's really fun. And it's a breath of fresh air because it works in a different way than what we're used to. Let's just... Let's go. So we have the first one here that I loaded in is Chip OSC. So the way it works is fairly simple. You've got three oscillators. Each of them, you can change the semitone. You can change the scent. OK. You get the volume for each of them. You can click here to bring up the list of samples. You can mute separately sound if you don't want them. And you've got this little thing here. You see there's like, it's not very clear, but you'll see later on, it will become clear if you need it. These are steps. You get the panning. Each of them can be panned differently. You get a graphic that shows you which one you have loaded. You get a cutoff filter, okay. Attack and release are here, so it's very simple. You go, oh, there's only attack. And release. In a way, yes, but at the same time you have here, you've got the amp sustain is here. So you can decide to bring down the amplifier sustain and a cut, the filter cutoff sustain. You have the DK, so attack, DK, sustain, release. It's kind of weird, but I understand why they do it this way. You have different way of the attack curve to change. You want it to be really quick or really slow. So from, I think, linear to log logarithmic shaped. And get a DK until you get the sustain. So I mean, everything you expect to have. You have polyphonic, monophonic, and monophonic legato. So again, it does what we're supposed to be hearing. Get the resonance for the cutoff. 
And the sample that we have right now are from chip-based instruments, so chip sound. Um, of course, we have reverb on this. So. You got key tracking for the filter. You've got velocity. You can control the cutoff point if you want to. You get envelope controlling the cutoff point. So everything that works the way it should sounds nice. You get the reverb. That where it becomes interesting because the reverb section and effect then can be really nice and you got a bunch of really i mean of course you got the classic stuff but you have you also have these these are the one that i like because you can play them very big and lush and, and wide, and it's really, I mean, you've got a bunch of them. And that's really cool. Uh, honestly, they sound really nice. And then you've got the effects. Bounce away, I like the names. Insecure Spring. So they're a little bit funky and fun. Slap back. Uh, stumble away like a double delay fly away slow freeze bunch of really interesting and we'll hear them in demos you'll see that it, they're really nice you have the cutoff lfo you can send to the lfo the modulation from the lfo paid in the owls how fast And the shape of the LFO. Not too much stuff happening now. Let's bring that down for now. And the modulation wheel. You know, do you want a modulation wheel to control how much effects you have? Like that. Okay. I can say I want to bring up uh, the the amount of effects. And you see the little graphic here. It shows you where I am with the modulation, you see this as moved here. So you see the original state and where it is right now. Okay, so that's really cool also. So very well thought of, it's easy to navigate, you see everything. And when you wanna go back to something, you know, you know it's gonna be easy to just go back. I'm gonna finish with the step sequencer before I'm gonna go into vibe, the vibrato and miscell miscellaneous. Vibrato is basically well, another LFO assigned just for the pitch. I already have this one. I'm going to cut because it's too much. Let's go back here so we hear more of it. speed and you want it to fade in so everything we expect to have it's all there volume controlled by velocity key glide pan spread well if you pan how wide it's going to be and the pitch bend wheel that you move here 
how much you want. Is it 12 semitone? Or just uh, a... Okay, let's just listen to other sounds. Now see now you have this graphic here of steps. You go into step sequencer. Now what's different now is that you have a two-step sequencer, so it only plays these two. And every time you move, it will load a different sample. If you, if you look here, see we're at Jeep and sub and Jeep and sub. So we're going between two different samples. And that makes it for a more natural sounding synthesizer. In this case, these samples are not so far away that they don't sound very different, but they're enough different that we hear it be more a analog synthesizer because each note are not exactly the same. And that's what we have here, but we could have something more different, you know. And let's say we don't bring this one up. Instead. If we say we're going to use uh, six steps, let's go back to reverb and bring it down. So you can choose all of them. And say these is going to be a square. Let's say I'm going to put an arpeggiator here. So what's happening is actually using the three two oscillators. This one is not being changed. So this one could be here as the raw sound always playing, and these could be seen as harmonics playing on top, and that they change over time. So you can actually layer them like uh, groups of different harmonics and timbers that combine the evolution of your sound. just change the first one and just change the last the second one so if you go between sounds I would say organ and organ and piano and vibe and let's go to FM and FM If you bring this one down, so it can become something really different than just plain note. Uh, and again, because I'm using an, arpe an arpeggio now, you can just play like that. You hear the evolution of the sound. So you could say, I'm going to have this piano, the first note on, f it could be thought of, I like this approach. Let's say I'm going to have sawtooth, sawtooth, and it's going to be uh, square and square. So I've got organ two, sawtooth, sawtooth, piano, saw square, square. So. 
So it makes it become something else. And they're not so different that it pops up like being different. But that's why I'm saying this is, it's not a wave sequence, but in a way, it's a step sequence that can change the wave. So it is really powerful and fun. And you get random oscillator if you want. So just place, every time you press on it, to just like put anything you want there. Again, you can change the step to last step. There's reset. Reset can say, um, if you release all the keys and you press it again, it will go back to the first. But if you press, So every time you release all the keys, you go back to the first one. Okay, so this is something that I haven't seen a lot and I find it really creative and interesting. And the notion that you can select which one is affected makes it more into like an evolution of the harmonics. So this, if you affect only the second one and you hear a lot of the first and the third, it becomes. It becomes harmonics, you know, content that is higher, especially if you put it higher in pitch. You could also say it's going to be affecting only third one, no, only for, for the first and the, and then it becomes more obvious. Now it doesn't change because it's always the same one. If I say never. of them they have the same interface the only difference that changes is this little graphic here to show you which one you're in but all of the other options that you have so And remember that you have control over different type of filters. sounding all depends on what type of sound you want I'm more of a JX and the the Moo OSC and the Pro OSC Like these in your face type of sounds.
builder. you can use all the presets and play with them but what makes you choose between one or the other or all of them is basically the raw samples so that's it that's the bundle the pro osc the Moo osc the chip osc the digi osc the jx osc and there's also a demo osc which is a demo where you can just download them um, you should actually try this before you take a decision Download the demo SC. You have a limited choice of samples, but then you can play with this and feel if you like it, you know, if it's the one you like. And it's going to be on promotion very soon, probably as I have released this video. It's going to be on promo. Now, if you want to get this, you can buy it off uh, Native Instrument Store right in there because it's just a, an instrument that loads right into Contact. That's it. Clay and Kelsey, good job. I like it. I find it fun and uh, refreshing. <laughs> Stay safe, make more music, and see you soon. Cheers.